So hello everyone, in this video we'll be understanding how you can deploy a Mernstack app in LightSail. So basically I have created this uh, dummy application by which I can show you how you can deploy. Uh, in this you have to remember some of the things which are, for example, your server code is here. You can see I have this models folder in which we create our database models. Like I have this uh, blog post uh, model uh, created by mongoose then we have this node modules folder inside that uh, inside this uh, routes folder I have this api.js which is nothing but all the routes all the, all the backend apis uh, all the get routes post and the other routes then I have also this env file in which you will be writing our configurations for which you want to which you don't want to show to the normal user then we have this package.json and the other files so this is my server code outside and inside this client folder i have my react application uh, in which i have this src folder i have this app.js where i'm managing all the things which are state and the other things and then we have this build folder which is being served by the backend server.js so you have to remember that whenever you are uh, creating a monstack app if you want to serve this uh, single app in one server together you have the choice that you can serve this build folder in the backend in the backend server.js file so i'm serving this folder here you can see that i have this uh, line of code which serves all the data which is inside this client folder and also I have this uh, app.get and inside that I am uh, providing this asterisk which basically means that if no routes is matched then I can easily uh, serve the files or uh, easily serve the routes which are managed by the react.js so that is basically uh, the case in this so after that if i run this file or if i run this server.js file it will be very easy also you have to remember the thing that uh, uh, right now i'm using this kind of uh, situation here which is process.env.environment first i'm checking whether the environment is production or not if the environment is production then i'm using the mongodb atlas url and i'm connecting to that Otherwise, I am using the local MongoDB setup, which is this one, MongoDB localhost on YouTube. So this is the local MongoDB setup. Right now, I am in the development mode. So uh, this database is used. And when I'll be going into the production, I'll be just changing uh, my env file here. I'll be just writing production here. Then it will be using this MongoDB URI, which I have this here. So you have to remember that because uh, the MongoDB setup inside your light sale will be different because the database uh, setup in local environment is different and the light sale is different. Also, you can use the MongoDB local database inside the uh, light sale instance if you, in if you have installed MongoDB there. Otherwise, you will be using the online or hosted database management system. In my case, it is MongoDB Atlas. So right now, if I just uh, run this application by using npm start here. So it will serve my application, which is inside this client folder. There is also one other way that you can host your application or your Mernstack app. Uh, in that case, you have to upload or deploy this server in a different instance or in a different uh, URL or a route and this client application in a different route. So that will be basically the different applications and that will be managed together by their APIs. Let's see uh, this, uh, it is running. You can see that it is giving me this successful message. Now, if I go to the localhost 8080, not 3000, because we are not uh, running the local database here or local React.js application. We are just running the backend server right now. So you can see it is serving this application or this react.js code which is inside this client build folder. 
uh, you remember that you have to uh, create this build folder otherwise your application will not work or uh, it will not be served by this server file now you can see uh, I have got my previous data from the database now you can see that it is here and I, I can also create the something and post that into my database let's say this is a test test if I do that so you can see I have the second uh, data as well if I refresh this page so it will be there because it is coming from the backend or from the database basically so how can I host this application it is very simple you just have to remember some of the things that I am going to tell you remember this file zero application which we observed in the last video when we were working on the next year's application we upload that right similarly we have to make use of this here and remember we have to open the port inside our instance uh, let me just select the instance and show you that let's say I have this instance which is a modern codes arts dashboard and if I go to this instance I'll be seeing this networking tab inside that you have to open 808 port because we'll be serving our application on that port let's add a rule here for 8080 port and I can create this so basically it will be added here and then we can use this you can see that it is there now we just need to transfer all these files there so I can transfer all of these files by creating a simple folder outside inside the SG docs uh, we can connect to our instance from here and inside the SG docs folder you have to create a folder in which you will be serving your application I'll be creating an application for example modern demo I can create this folder and I, inside that I can paste all of my code so this is my application I'll be copy pasting the complete code here not the node modules folder but the other things but before that I have to make some change in the env file because we'll be going into the production now so let me just change it here production now I can just refresh here so my env is changed now uh, now I can uh, leave this uh, client and the node modules folder and paste it inside this folder because we'll be not copy pasting the node modules folder from the client as well so we'll be just copy pasting the basic files which are needed then we'll be installing all the modules uh, in the terminal so we can go inside the client folder and I can copy paste the things first let me just create this client folder here uh, I can create client and inside that I can paste the complete client data or the react.js application data I can paste it here and uh, when we'll be going into the light sail terminal then we'll be installing all the modules so this is basically the case you have to do here after they are transferred we can go to our instance we can go to our instance from the connect tab I can go to the connect tab here you can see all the files are transferred I can connect to the tab here now you just have to go to the place where we transferred all the files and you have to install all the modules because we don't transfer node modules folder because it has a huge size we can go to that folder from SG docs I can add ls here I can go to modern demo I can clear this screen now I can install 
all the modules by writing npm install command here it will install all the backend related dependencies now i can go to uh, the client folder which is inside here and i can install all the front end related or react js related dependencies i can write npm install here as well now it should load all the dependencies and now we are good to go let's just download this okay let it download and then we'll be starting our application so this is installing now you can see it is giving us some information okay all the packages are installed now we can go to one folder back and in here remember you have to start your application always with a, a pm2 package which starts our application for forever and there is also forever package for this but i'm using pm2 so you can also use this now in here i can write pm2 start and after that i can specify server.js file also i can specify name here for the application which which will be uh, modern demo i can write here and i can press enter now you can see this modern demo is there and if i uh, log it if i see the log of modern demo I should see some logs from the application. Now you can see it is saying mongoose is connected. So the last log is this. Now I can check my application whether it is serving in the in this IP or not. Let's copy paste the things. And our port number was 8080. Let's check that. Boom, you can see that it is there. And now I can create anything I want. Let's say uh, hello or anything. If I submit, you can see it is there. If I refresh the page, it is still there because it is coming from the database. So we have successfully uh, deployed our Monstack application in LightSail. I hope you got something. And if you have some issues or problems, you can comment down. We'll definitely be solving that. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in the next one.